we've got a lineup, I think, that's going to make you forget High School Musical. Okay. Yeah, okay. So like we got it. lots of going on, right. guys. So, hey, it's a classic rock double bill. Def Leppard and Ario Speedwagon all together. You know, today is Good Friday. Mm -hmm. Well, Saturday night is going to be Fergalicious. <laughs> so funny, because I think this is like a big teaser this weekend for the yeah. Country Music Awards that are coming in two oh, weeks. Because we're true. like all country right. today. So, starting off, Dirk Spentley, this greatest hit album really marks this five-year milestone for you. Yeah, but it's been a great five years. Uh, you know, we've just been touring nonstop, and like I said, making fans one show at a time. But to have a greatest hit to be in a position where you actually get a chance to make one is, um, you know, beyond a dream come true. They hit it big on the world stage, and after 30 years, Duran Duran has never been far from the spotlight. How much in trouble are you if you don't play "Hungry Like the Wolf" or Rio? You know, people pay money to come in, and they the certain songs they want to hear. So I think you have to respect that. Forget Joey, Justin, all those new kids. I have got Jared, Asher, Nikki, Nathaniel, and Wesley. V Factory, the next generation of pop idols. Just you wait. Now I got a chance to talk to them here at the House of Blues on the first night of their Bandemonium tour. <laughs> National Finals Rodeo back in town. We have your front row music tickets, so let's just kick it off. It's the 43rd annual <laughs> ACM Awards at Academy of Country Music this Sunday, and it will be a busy weekend filled with concerts and events and awards ceremonies. But even though the ACM Awards are sold out this Sunday at the MGM Grand, we have a pre-award show concert to tell you about. Oh. And the best part? It's free. Yes! They were singing Yeehaw here in Vegas as country music's biggest stars walked the orange carpet here at the 43rd Annual Academy of Country Music Awards. Now, Reba McIntyre was back as host for the 10th time, and for the first time ever, the fans got to pick the Entertainer of the Year. This is Daisy Galandi with On Tour. You know, Trace Adkins is probably the busiest man in country music today. He's got a new tour, a new greatest hits album, he just wrote a book, and he's going to be on Celebrity Apprentice. Donald Trump called you. <laughs> Did you think it was a joke? Um, when I knew that, that it would be a chance for me to raise awareness for the Food Allergy and Anaphylaxis Network, I said, okay, I'll do it, you know. Mm -hmm. After 25 years of an amazing career in music, we caught up with Brian Adams here at the Hard Rock at the Joint in Las Vegas. Just a, a moment in time where you say, you know what, I'm kind of ready to start putting pen to paper and Oh, no, they, they always come to paper. It's just, just when I get time to finish them. There's always some interesting things that go along when you're when you're on the road. Yeah. But you, my dear, Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of a scare, right? Uh, yeah, no, I, uh, I recently had um, uh, an issue with my... Uh, with my arm getting a giant blood clot in it. And in the middle of the Dallas show that we were playing, I was playing this, playing this last couple of songs, I'm going, wow, my arm's feeling kind of funny. There's no chance you're going to play left-handed, right? No, so. <laughs> it's not really, really going to work. It would take a lot of years of me training myself to, yeah, I, I can to teach switch you. arms. Whoa. Hanson continues on tour through December. If you want to see where they'll be, you can go onto their website at hanson.net. I find hope and it gives me rest.